All right, hey gang, Carl here. Uh, people ask, like, how will I get a timing pointer and find top dead center if my engine's in the car? That's not the easiest thing. Um, I've done it once, and you got to have a lot of room, and you got to have a lot of patience. Have all the spark plugs out to help you rotate the engine. I'm going to try to show you. I'm going to show you, uh, and I guess you can translate it to as if it w this motor was in the car, and just going to dive at it and watch while I do it, explain, watch my mistakes, have fun. So I'm going to try not to get in the way while I do this. Uh, in the way of the camera. First of all, you got to have a timing pointer and a LT1 oil. They don't make them specific. I've found various um well just small block time pointers uh let's try we're going to try this one pce 268.1002 the bolts never fit because you have to integrate it to your timing cover there let's see what do we have yeah all right this will get us in the ballpark. All right, bolt it up here, and there's a space behind here. I gotta find a bolt that, you know, fits the, the length there, the extra length. Well, let's get this bolted on and then find top dead center. Bolted on is the key here, so you might skip by this. You'll wanna get this bolted up here, but then you'll need a space here so that it's even. So cobble something together, uh, and my advice is just that, cobble something together. Okay, right here. I don't know. Let's try one washer. I think that's good. Two bolts. Uh, this one will be good here. Now, uh, we haven't even found top dead center yet. I'm just getting this ready. Got that done. So next, what I do, one, this one tip, one tip. Uh, these dampers, they won't have timing marks on the other side of top dead center, usually. So if you find a, with a piston stop before top dead center and then turn it around and then find with a piston stop where it, on the other side of top dead center, you won't have timing marks. You'll have to go by your own uh, measurements, what I use is MSD timing tape. This tape won't stay on when the engine's running. You use it to make your own marks. We will find top dead center arbitrary here. First, I'll get the size of it. What's the diameter? And uh, this looks to be like a seven and a half. Yeah, seven and a half. So here's a seven and a half tape. Um, this is seven and a half tape. And I'll just have it here ready at the arbitrary top dead center. Yeah. I don't have to be on compression, compression spurt. I don't have to be on con, con, <laughs> compression stroke or exhaust stroke. I just need to have these out of the way so the valves aren't hitting my stop. 
and fine top dead center. It doesn't matter compression or exhaust because I only care if it's compression stroke I'm gonna set a distributor in there. What I've been using is a socket extension. I find to be the most consistent this size. All right, so I'm gonna go here until it stops. I put this in with the A pointing straight up and hold it consistently. I'm not going to go all the way back around. I am going to go past a bit and then come back. Put this in again with the A facing up. Um, consistent. All right, I'm going to come back this way. Right there. Now all I have to do is figure in between. going between these two marks. So let's see, I'll put a zero here. Zero there, two here. Okay, so it looks like we're at zero and 57. So between zero and 57 is really where top dead center is. So I'll just move the tape to where that is. 28 and a half. Okay. That ought to be my new zero. Now I'm going to double check on finding top dead center again. Now from, in, in a perfect world, if that was exactly it, that's top dead center. Then there's no marks on this, right? Well then the damper gets, like say, if you want to run timing at 30 or 40, then you mark here that this is your 30 mark. This will be 30 and this will be 40 and in between, right? So you know that you got zero, 30, and 40. Then you'll just have to figure out in between. If you have a timing light that dwells down to where this needle will then go right at the zero and it, it'll it show on the timing light that you're at whatever, 20, 25, 30, whatever. If you dial your timing light that this brings this to the zero, then you'll be able, you don't even have to uh, mark it here and be able to read it on the damper. So the only thing I have to do is verify now. Okay, touches there at the 30. Let's go around back here. Let's see what we have. Touches there. So, at that same mark, 
that I had. <laughs> so, that validated that. Here, let me get this back off. And me we'll look underneath the tape and see if the tape under the 30 is where previously was my other mark. Yes, it is. All right, so this is correct. Okay, I'm gonna etch this also, so that that's um, zero top dead center right here with an etch. That's really it, in a nutshell. That's all I can do is you know, mark it on the damper zero there. something <laughs> and a sort of a bigger arrow there and top to the center hopefully that'll work carl l wine l wine engines take care